Welcome to an open VSP tutorial from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. In this tutorial, we're going to find a better way to export your airplane model to a CAD program. And before we get too far into this, I want to say that we're using OpenVSP version 3.21.2. So if you're using a much newer version, what you see in this video may differ a little bit from what you see in OpenVSP that you're using. Let's do a real quick review of the way we talked about it in previous videos. Now previously, you would come up to File, you would come down to Export, and then generally you're either going to pick Untrimmed Step or Untrimmed IGES. Those are the two general CAD formats that OpenVSP can export to. And the IGES format is a little bit older. It doesn't have quite as much information in it as the STEP does. So in general, STEP is going to be preferable. Something I showed in a previous video is I could not get an exported STEP file to import into FreeCAD. All it would do is import lines. The surfaces or volumes just would not be there. So I ended up having to use IGES for FreeCAD. But I could get the STEP file to import into SolidWorks and a Fusion 360. Occasionally I'd have a little bit of trouble, but it worked reasonably well. But I learned something new from the OpenVSP workshop that happened back in September. I learned a better way to do export for CAD. And just in case you're curious, this model we're looking at here is one I made back in August when I was experimenting around with Dan Raymer's book on simplified aircraft design for home builders. And I designed this little model based on what I learned from his book. And we're going to use this as our basis for our export, except I'm going to get rid of everything but the wing. Let me do that first. Okay, I just have the wing geometry here. And by the way, let me get rid of this middle rib. I don't want that either. Okay, got rid of that middle rib. Now, let me show you the way that makes a much better export. You come up underneath Analysis, you select Trimmed Surfaces. And we only want either the STEP or IGS. Now, you won't normally have all these dots in here when you first get in here. These are showing up because I've already run this once. And generally, all these things will be enabled. Go ahead and click and turn all these things off. And by the way, we're in the Output tab. So I go ahead and turn all these things off. I don't need them. I leave these options on. Don't forget to set your unit length to the proper length. I'm using inches. So that's correct for me. Step tolerance, I think, is perfectly fine here. I'm also turning off IGS. I really only want the step format. And then you've got a choice on whether you want a shell to come out or solid. Now, generally, I'm going to be using a shell. And then once you're all happy with that, you go ahead and hit Intersect and Export. And it runs through a few things. It hides your wire mesh and only shows you the points that used in doing the export. And so that's what all these are. Now, let me show you importing this into FreeCAD. So I have FreeCAD running. Do Create New, come underneath File, come down to Import, and I will go down and select the file that was written to. That's this file here. So let's open that. It does a little twirling. Boom! It worked. This never would have worked before. This is the first time, other than a few examples I did earlier today to test this, this is the first time I've ever had FreeCAD correctly import a step file. Let's take a quick look at it. So it drew lines on here where all my control surfaces are, but the actual surface is only the sections of the wing. So I'm very happy with that. Now let's go back to OpenVSP. And we can also export it as a solid. Now you can export more than one part. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, show the nacelle. Let's turn that on. 
and we need to turn a wing back on. And one thing that's really annoying is it's going to turn on everything else. Let's turn everything else back off. Okay, <laughs> we got quite a mess there. So we have our wing and we have our nacelles. So we can actually combine these together using this trim surface algorithm. It'll make it basically one part with lots of surfaces. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this takes longer because it has to go through all this intersection stuff and do calculations. Let me go back to shell representation and let's export again. This takes a little bit longer. Okay, it has finished. When it says done, it's finished. So <laughs> before it does that, it's still working. So now you can see it got rid of all the wireframes. Now it's showing us what it worked on. So let's go ahead and import that real quick and take a look at it. It's gonna be the same file. Let's get rid of this one. Start another one, do the import. Same file name. So you can see it's merged those nacelles with the wing, but they still have their own surfaces. Let's rotate it around real quick, take a look at it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I've got a little problem with my nacelles. You can see there's something funny going on here and I never got around to fixing that, but that's not really relevant for what we're doing here. Now, let me show you something that's really cool that you might have a use for. Okay, let's come back and show this stuff again. We'll show this and this. I want to unshow all this. And that looks like we got it right. Now, check this out. Let's go back to our nacelle on the Gen tab for the nacelle, come down to CFD Mesh Gen Negative Volume. Click that. That's telling OpenVSP that I want this nacelle and this nacelle to be negative. In other words, I want to have anything that they intersect to be removed from the CAD file that gets exported. And it also works on a CFD export, which we're not doing right now. Now, let's come back over here and run this again. And yeah. Okay, so it's finished running and it looks a lot like we did last time, even though we told this to be negative, it did some calculations on it, but let's go and do an import. Let's get rid of this old one. Start a new one, import. Same file name. And check this out. It removed the area in the wing where that nacelle intersected. Let's kind of zoom in here a little bit. Isn't that kind of cool? And this is also a thing that's kind of interesting. Now this is a shell and the surfaces in here match the surfaces that intersected the wing. Well, that's kind of interesting. So you can see this is the bottom left corner, bottom right corner, top left corner, top right corner. So that actually could be useful for doing cutting a little bit easier than it would be in doing it in CAD. In CAD, it wouldn't be necessarily hard, but since you've already got it all set up in OpenVSP, you can just let OpenVSP do the cutting. So that's pretty neat. Well, that's why I wanted to show it's a little bit better way of doing exporting to CAD files. And just to remember again, you come up underneath analysis, you pick trimmed services. 
And if you want to, of course, you can change the name here. I just use the default name, which is the name of my model and the directory that it came from. And then it just adds a .stp for the step or .igs for the IGS file. And I want to thank my newest designer tier patron, Shane, for the idea that spawned this video. He asked the question of when was a good time or what good things were to export from your model into CAD. So what should you do in OpenVSP? What should you do in CAD? And that reminded me of what I had learned from the OpenVSP workshop back in September, and I thought I'd make this video. So Shane, thanks for becoming a patron and inspiring this video. Until next time, guys.